Hello there, I'm Chandler, just Chandler. Today I want to tell you about the pros and cons of using AI in digital art. AI is artificial intelligence which can be used for a variety of things. In the case of AI generated art, the AI is used to collect a vast variety of different images from all across the internet and selects images which fit what the user of the AI inputs in order to generate a new image that fits what the user wants. For example, if the user typed into the AI classical, cat, and nature, the AI might take several images and merge them together to create an image of a cat in the wilderness in the style of a classical painting. AI in digital art has been a very controversial topic among artists, possibly since AI was first introduced to the internet. Many artists despise the use of AI in the creation of digital art for one reason or another, while many are all for it. But who's right? Well, if you ask me, that's open for interpretation. For now, let's discuss the pros. Some of the pros of using AI in digital art is that anyone can create art, even with little to no prior knowledge on how to do so. Anyone with the desire to create but no knowledge or skill to do so can use AI to create art quick and easy. AI can even be used to draw inspiration. Artists facing art block may turn to AI to generate a random image, and from that image they can draw new inspiration. Of course, it isn't a foolproof method of drawing inspiration, but it may work in some cases. AI can revive old artistic styles or create whole new ones. AI can be used in animation to create more frames per second, which can give the animation a more fluid or dynamic appearance and make the animation seem to move more smoothly. It makes animation easier and faster by automatically generating new frames so the artists don't have to draw every single frame of the animation. It can even be used in other art forms, such as music. If done right, it could sound natural, good even. An example of AI music is the famous digital idol Hatsune Miku. While there is usually someone behind the scenes to write the lyrics, it is an AI that sings the lyrics. While there are many pros to AI in art, some I have mentioned and others I have not, there are also many cons. Some AI takes art without the permission of the original artist and uses that art to create new art by mashing it together with stolen art pieces. This process often distorts artists' watermark to the point where while we may be able to tell that a watermark once existed, we can no longer tell what it said. And so we have no idea what artists knowingly or unknowingly contributed to the AI generated piece. AI doesn't typically give credit after generating a piece either. The AI exists solely to take existing works and mash it with other existing works to create something new. AI doesn't have the ability to record whose art it stole in order to credit said artist after the generated piece is created. Perhaps someday someone will create a program that does credit the artists it took from, and perhaps from then on, AI will begin to develop a more positive reputation. Another con of AI-generated art is that in animation, it can create new frames where you don't want them and can create ugly and unnatural movement and smear frames. Using AI to generate more frames per second typically only works if you plan to do some cleaning up and tweaking in order to make the new frames work. Finally, AI can make other artists feel like it is unfair and even wrong that anyone can create something using stolen art while they've been working hard to create their own art. They might feel that AI takes the fun out of art and that it makes art into something that doesn't require skill or effort anymore. It can make them feel bad about their own art because they might feel that the AI-generated pieces are becoming more popular than work that actually had effort put into it. In the end, there are many different opinions for AI and digital art. There are so many pros and so many cons to digital art, and we can't be sure what the definite right answer even is, if there is one at all. It is up to you to decide how you feel about AI and how you want to go about doing your own art, if you want to do art at all. My personal opinion of digital art is that if you wish to use it, you must work with the AI. The AI is not a slave to do all of the work for you. It is a companion, one you must work with in order to get a result you are happy with. AI can only create good results if used properly. 
I hope I have taught you something new and you are able to use this information to make your own choice. Goodbye and happy creating.